Hi everyone, thank you for joining today. My name is Miss Kelly and for this story time in celebration of our winter open house, we are reading Tacky and the Winter Games by Helen Lester and illustrations by Lynn Munzinger. A huff and a puff, and a huff and a puff, and a huff and a puff. What's happening? Blared Tacky the penguin as he came across his companions, goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect. We're training, they replied. Training? Wondered Tacky hopefully, as in choo choo. No. Training like athletes, the winter games are coming, and we must, must, must be in shape to win, win, win. Looking closely at Tacky, not the fittest of birds, they added, let's get going. So the penguins trained, they raced up steep hills. They jumped rope. They did hundreds of sit-ups a day. They lifted weights and they rode bikes. They ate special training meals and kept strict training hours. Most of all, they practiced their events. Bob sledless racing, ski jumping, speed skating, and finally, after weeks of work, Team Nice Icy Land was ready for the long waddle to the Winter Games. Off they went! Rat-a-tat-tat, rat-a-tat-tat, the athletes marched into the stadium for the opening ceremonies. Teams had come from far and wide. They came from the highlands, the lowlands, the funlands, and of course, the nice icy land. Rat-a-tat-tat, rat-a-tat-tat, on they marched. Ratty-tatty-tatty-boomy, ratty-tatty-boom, hey! Tacky marched to a different drummer. For the big show, the penguins all joined in singing the Winter Games Anthem. With our beaks held high and our bellies held low, we'll do our best in the ice and snow. With a yodel waddle ho and a yodel waddle he, may the best tim team win and let's hope it's we. After lighting the torch and exchanging high flippers as a sign of friendship, the athletes filed out past the display of medals. Medals to dream about. The sun rose, eager penguins prepared for the first event, the bobsledless race. Little webbed feet wrapped around big penguin tummies. Pop, off they went. Tacky was way off. Looking at the wonderful hill before him, he cried, great for belly sliding. With that, he charged under his surprise teammates and sped them down, crossing the finish line in record time. But wait, the official announced, this is Bob sledless racing. You have a bobsled. Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly and perfect, tried to explain that it was not a bobsled, it was a penguin. Doesn't look much like a penguin, said the official examining Tacky. Not much like a bobsled either. Don't know what it is. Anyway, no medals for you. Illegal equipment. So no medals for the team Nice Icy Land, yet. In the afternoon, the athletes strapped frozen fish on their feet for the ski jumping event. While the jumpers waited for their turns, Tacky spent just a few moments in the hut toasting his toes by the fire. Aren't winter sports wonderful? 
Swoop plop, swoop plop, swoop plop. One after another, the athletes made graceful jumps and lovely landings. Plippity plop, plippity plop. What was this? Tacky's fish had become thawed by the warmth of the fire and were now flopping wildly. He made a higher jump than he had intended and lots of landings. Yikes. No medals for Team Nice Icy Land yet. That evening, the speed skating relay race was the final event. Last chance, Tacky, warned Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly and perfect, who looked mighty aerodynamic in their costumes. Tacky looked mighty well tacky. The other teams had already finished and their times were very fast. Now it was Team Nice Icy Land's turn. Pop! Off they went. One by one, Tacky's companions took a turn around the rink. Goodly passed the baton to Lovely, who passed the baton to Angel, who passed the baton to Neatly, who passed the baton to Perfect, who passed the baton to Tacky, who said, thank you, and ate it. Ate it? Ate it? Well, it looked like a hot dog. His companions wailed, you, you ate, you ate the, you ate the baton? And in frustration, they began to chase him around the rink. Tag, cried Tacky. He loved nothing better than a good game of tag. So he skated faster and faster and faster and faster and faster and barreled across the finish line in record time. But wait, had Team Nice Icy Land really won? Did Tacky have the baton? Without the baton, Team Nice Icy Land would be disqualified. Out came the medics. Off went Tacky on the stretcher and under the eye of the big x-ray machine. They x-rayed his bottom portion. Nope, nothing there. They x-rayed his top. Certainly nothing there. They x-rayed his middle and yes, there it was! Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect hugged Tacky. Tacky was an odd bird, but a nice bird to have around. And look at that big winner medal. That was Tacky and the Winter Games. Um, if you like this book and want to read it at home, you can pick it up from your, one of your local Wake County libraries. We'll also put in the description some other great Olympic themed books that you can pick up at your local library. Thank you so much for joining us for this story time today. Whether it's virtual or in person. We hope you can join us for our many other Winter Open House events that we have happening all month long. Please check out online. We'll put a link in the description about what we have going on. Have a great day.